you think we'll be eating 15 years from now? What we'll be eating 15 years from now. Um, you all look delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's people. <laughs> Um, I, well, in 15 years, we'll still be eating meat, probably a lot more of it than, than we should be. Like when we're eating more meat than we should be right now, and I, I think that's a trend that's not, at least on an average global scale. In, in Berkeley, you'll probably be eating less meat than you do right now. Um, <laughs> Uh, but on a global scale, we'll be eating way more meat than we're eating now. Um, I mean, 15 years is a pretty small timeline. Um, but, but yeah, at some, at some point, we're going to have to develop either um, more efficient ways of raising animals, um, and, and hopefully more efficiency doesn't come with also with more cruelty, um, or, or some kind of synthetic thing. You Because, know? like, honestly, it's like, does, does someone eating the, the hamburger from McDonald's like, care about the story behind the, the, the cow there? Um, um, in, in as much as they want to make sure that, it, that, it, that people say they wanted to have been humanely raised, probably. They care about that part of the story, but they don't care which specific ranch it came from. Um, and, and, and the meat doesn't taste like it came from a specific... That's actually their whole formula. It tastes the same no matter what part of the world you're in, no matter where the beef is coming from. Like, it tastes the same. So if you can synthesize that beef um, and, and, and somehow convince... Um, everyone in the world that it's safe and um, and it tastes the same. Then you know, at, at some point I think that we will cross that line, or I mean, or or we're all going to be screwed because <laughs> we can't, we can't keep eating the way we're eating um, and continuing to grow in population. I have hopes for some for for new um, crops, for for bet for things that are perennial instead of um, seasonal, and for plants that we don't currently think of as being a large commercial crop, you know, sort of ground nut type stuff. I'm hopeful for those kind of things. And I think that a lot more of what we eat is going to be genetically modified. I think we're going to start doing a lot of that. And I, th I think we won't have a choice if we want to keep feeding the planet because of climate change and because of changing conditions and more people who want it. The, I mean, the other side, the other side of that we're, is we're never going to reach an equilibrium, right? Like humans, humans have this way of whatever resources we have um, and whatever technology we have, we, we push it a little bit beyond where it should go and then we continuously have to find new ways. I mean, I think any animal will do that actually, but you, we, we're gonna continue. It's, it's gonna be a continuous struggle. We're never gonna be at the point where it's like, we finally have enough food for everybody <laughs> and we can do what we want. Um, it's not gonna happen. <laughs>